What you doing under there, Ozcat? I see your tail twitching. He wants to paint too. Hi, baby. Welcome, everybody. This is Drunk Crafts with Paige. I'm Paige, and today I'm drinking a strawberry lemonade Mike's. I know they don't have high alcohol content, but they're nice and sweet and fun to sip on. Anyway, today we are moving to just do a, it's kind of a straight up pour, um, but I'm going to be trying to uh, experiment with some electrical tape. Um, so this pour is going to be a little bit more controlled. Um, as you can see, I've got this rocket ship that I've painted on here. And I don't know what kind of rocket ship it is. Uh, <laughs> I got a nice long uh, story about space and exploring and stuff from my boyfriend. This is purely a project for him. <laughs> um, so I'm going to try to pour, I've got, let's see, some like flame colors and then I've got some like whites and grays and the goal is to start out up here with the flame colors and then fade into the white and gray like smoke as if the rocket is shooting away. So I am going to put one last piece. I'm gonna put it right here so I don't get any of this paint on my rocket. So like I said, I'm using uh, painter's tape. I may have said electrical tape before, but it's painter's tape um, to designate where the path of the flames and the smoke is supposed to go. And then I'm gonna peel it away once it's mostly dry um, and see how it turns out. Hopefully it won't bleed out a whole lot underneath. So we're going to do, um, we're going to pour all of the colors into this cup into a specific order. Cause like I said, I want it to look like flames and then into smoke. So we're going to start, um, in this cup, we're going to start with the whites and the grays and the blacks because that will come out last, and then the top will have all the, uh, the flames. So, I have already added silicone to all of my cups and have uh, diluted them down, um, made them liquidy to the consistency that I'd like, and so now we're just gonna add them into this cup. So here's my cup. Hopefully this all turns out. Looks like I've got a lot of white on the top. Maybe I'll start in the middle. All right. Torch it. Well, that got him to stop snooping around. <laughs> I'm going to tilt it up just a little bit. 
and then I'm going to tilt it down. Trying to make sure it gets to both of my corners. And of course it dripped off my painter's tape on that side. That kind of sucks. I've got paper towel down here with me before it dries. I can always uh, paint this black again. Hmm. Hopefully you guys can still see that in frame. I kind of, I tried to zoom out on this one so you could see all the canvas. It's a bigger canvas than I've worked with before with you guys. Okay, well I feel like I've wiped a decent amount of that off of the edge. So it's not so much past the painter's tape. And like I said, even if it does, I can try to paint that black again. Hmm. Well, I think this looks super cool. It didn't end up being as controlled as I thought it would be. Um, like as far as my colors, the color scheme, like the order that I put them in the cup. There we go. Words are hard. <laughs> um, because yeah, I wanted the reds and everything, the flame colors to stay towards the top. But maybe it's the quantity of paint that I had in there that it, you know, it's... It may be a bigger canvas than I'm used to, but it still is pretty small. So I had a smaller quantity of paint. And uh, so it ended up still kind of, uh, they blended together. Woo, that was not intentional. I wanted to mix a little bit more white here at the bottom. didn't go at all how I wanted it to. I will just let it drip off, drip away. I've got a few spots where my canvas is kind of showing through. Hmm. 
well. I think even though it turned out differently than I wanted it to, this turned out super cool. Um, maybe I'll even, if I've got some yellow, do I have any yellow left? Make sure you don't have any other spots showing. all just a process of tilting and swirling and tilting and swirling and keeping what you like and dumping what you don't <laughs> yeah. for a bit there I wasn't entirely sure I liked this gray streak but you know I think I do I think I do like it in there I'll heat it up one more time few cells that actually popped up in the orange that's so cool or well in the gray but it popped up as orange Ooh, guys I think I'm actually super pleased with this even though the order of colors didn't go exactly as I wanted it to I still have them all in there and they still look really cool all mixed up like that and I think this is awesome so hopefully, once I take the, um, the painter's tape off while this is still, uh, I want to do it while it's still a little wet, but not like dripping off the canvas wet, because if you wait until the painter's tape is completely dry, when you peel it off, there's a good chance that it's going to peel away your layer of paint as well. So once it seems to be not terribly wet, I will come at this again um, and seeing how the painter's tape actually works. And like I said, worst case scenario, it might have leaked through and uh, I do have black paint that I can try to touch up the edges and stuff. So, ooh, I love it. I'll, I'll, I'm actually gonna bring you guys down so you can see some of these cool cells up close, so. Here they are. Here are the orange ones that I said popped up in that strip of gray. And it did kind of in the red as well. I think this is super cool. I'm very pleased with, with the flame look that I have achieved. So, like I said, I will tune you guys back in when I go to peel this tape off. Okay guys, so here is the painting with the tape pulled off of it. I'm trying to get my camera to focus a little bit better. Um, it did not create uniform lines. Um, the paint kind of bled a little bit underneath, but because this is supposed to be a flame trail, um, there it goes. 
I think it looks, I think it looks okay kind of messy. Um, I did have the portion, see if I can angle so you can see the wet. I've got some wet black right around here because the portion that um, leaked, that kind of spilled over top of my painter's tape. Even though I was able to clean it up off the canvas, I didn't realize that um, it would also soak underneath the tape as well. So when I took the tape off, I had a little blob there um, from where the paint had seeped through on the opposite side. But I think, yeah, like I said, that because this is supposed to be a flame trail of the rockets going off, that it looks, it looks good not having the uniform, uh, the uniform line. And I still have all of these gorgeous cells. There we go. All of these gorgeous cells that I love so much throughout the bottom. So, like I said um, before, uh, this paint is still decently wet. Um, I wanted to take the tape off while it was still somewhat wet. So, because uh, if you wait until it's too dry, it could flake your paint off with the tape. So, um, so yeah, here's what it looks like without the tape. And I'm hoping that that one spot where I had to put black on that it'll dry the same as the canvas and so it will look nice and look like a rocket ship shooting up to the sky. Maybe once this is fully dry I might add some stars or some kind of flecks of white up here maybe to make it look like the, the night sky. Um, but either way I'm pretty pleased with how this turned out. So. I'll give you guys a nice shot once uh, the drying process is farther along and maybe once I've added a few stars. Okay everybody, so here's the final product. Like I said, I went ahead and uh, painted a bunch of stars on there. Some of them I like uh, flicked the paintbrush onto it so it made them all nice and misty. Some of them I added a little bit more detail to them, so. There's the final, final canvas. I really like it. It's a little bit different than everything else that I've done before, but I'm really pleased by the outcome. I think it looks really cool. So, thank you all for watching. Um, please like, comment, or subscribe below. You can also follow me on Instagram, the same handle, Drunk Crafts with Paige. I'll see you all next time.